Hello Europe, this is the Swedish EU blog giving you European affairs summary with a Swedish angle and today from Stockholm. After 444 commission meetings, it's final over for President Barroso. And a grade from the Swedish politicians. Well, the EU blog was twittering with some during the week. And uh, here are some results. Jens Nilsson, Social Democrat MEP, says, Oh, I'm happy it's over. I'm looking forward now. His party colleague, the group leader, Marita Ulskog, states that uh, Barroso was big in the mouth but small on the earth. Kind of rough grades. Uh, low grades as well from uh, uh, the Green Party's uh, MP, former MEP Karl Schlüter, gives him 3 out of 10. The left party's uh, Jens Holm, he's a member of the Swedish Parliament, former MEP. He states that uh, Barroso was a Mayoist turning into a gibberish new liberal. A bit better grade gets Barroso from Alle Group's Fredrik Fedele, member of the European Parliament, and he gives him 5 out of 10. And from the EPP party, Gunnar Hökmark says that uh, Barroso did too little on competitiveness and too few reforms. Although his colleague Christopher Fjellner wants to highlight that Barroso was fighting for free trade. And that is kind of rough in those economic times that has been in Europe during his 10 years term. And also from the EPP group, the member of Swedish parliament, Desiree Petrus, says that things were moving in the right direction but, well, not far enough. Twenty years ago Sweden voted yes in joining the EU in a referendum and one would think that after 20 years in the European Union it would be in the Swedish DNA that we are a member of the Union. Well, in fact, it's not really that. Uh, this week uh, the EU blog noticed that uh, the Swedish Contingency Agency sent out a paper for um, opinions and they had a little little flaw. They had forgot that Sweden was a member of the European Union when they were describing how Sweden is governed. It only picked out the three levels, not the four levels of today. And that is kind of the awkward, most embarrassing EU moment in Sweden this week. MEP of the week is Anna Maria Korazza built the EPP group. She was in Ukraine during the Ukraine election and before that she got a real tough task to steer uh, the lobby group of parliamentarians that want to have one seat to stop the moving around between Brussels and Strasbourg and to have a permanent seat. Well, that is preferable in Brussels then, because France will never let uh, Strasbourg go without being paid really good in compensation of, of losing the seat. Of course, they could accept one seat, but then in Strasbourg, but the EU blog doubts that the, that is what the parliamentarians want. I mean, they would not be in the same town as the Commission, the Council, all the press corps. So it will continue to be a struggle and the problem will not be solved, not during these five years in this mandate period, and I doubt it never ever will be solved. Yes.